Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Sinquanta Cocksmith of www.sinquantacocksmith.com. Smile for me. So today we're here with a follow-up video on the how to start a print-on-demand business for Cafe Press. Today we're gonna be going through the different products that we select in the very first video and we are going to kind of change some things, edit some things, move it around, see what all we need to do to get this store up and running. Um, as I previously discussed, I'm still having issues with the payment uh, part of Cafe Press, so I will be emailing them, but I did want to get through these videos. If there is an uh, update via email, I will make sure I put the response in the comment section of these videos so you guys can be informed as well. So if you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell. So when we last left off, we left off on the sections and products pages, okay? So it shows all of the products that we chose from that selection when we first chose our very first selection for this product. Um, I kind of want to move uh, down and then up. So one of the products, it looks like it's a ceramic ornament. So I'm just going to hit edit. And we are going to, let's see, select height image, select image. Oh, it's asking me to select a new image. Let me see. gonna go back so oh this is interesting is it not letting me move oh it says no what you see is what you get <laughs> so it says the image should be Let's see full bleed okay so there this is how I get to change it here very interesting that is very, what you see is what you get. Oh, so I would suggest designing for the products. So I am going to pause this and go over to Canva. So I am in Canva and I'm just going to resize this in inches, um, two by two inches. Let's see if that makes a difference. I'm already gonna tell you guys, I'm not feeling this website. <laughs> um, they doing the most, it's making you do a whole lot of work, okay? So I'm gonna download this so it can fit on this ornament. Um, but yeah, I wasn't expecting all these twists and turns with Cafe Press. So again, that'll let you know what type of website this is and if you are willing to take the time to learn this site with all of the gripes i've already experienced it's just not the most user friendly okay so it looks like every time i upload this i have to kind of go through this the step of what it is but i'm not going to do that so i'm just going to hit save one this i can't i have to never mind um, I'm just putting put ornament tags and just put the military spouse and then we're going to save this design. Okay. So I'm going to choose this, I guess. Mm. Create a design. Nope, I wanna go back. Okay, so let's see if we can go back to where we were. We were in our shop. So we were in our products, right? Scroll all the way down. Gonna hit edit. All right, so we're gonna remove this image and we're gonna select the new image. It should be in our basket. Boom. Select the new image and then hit upload new image. Whew. What? This is the ghetto. So if I select it, what do I do with it? Oh, select. <laughs> Woo, child. Okay, so I hit select. Now that looks way better, okay? Um, but 
Ooh, this is the ghetto. Okay, this is the ghetto. Now I'm gonna hit done. So, y'all, let's do that again with a different product. Um, now that looks way better. So the shirt looks fine. The doggy shirt looks fine. I'm trying to find a design. So let's look at this magnet. Let's do this again. So I'm gonna hit the edit button and we want to remove this image that we initially put up. So, and then we're going to select that new two inches one here, and then we're going to hit select. Okay. And then it comes up here is it, it, but it's not showing me. Okay. <laughs> so then we hit done. So these buttons are not like, they're not like in our face, but they're there. So here's the, the military spouse once I, I redid it. All right. So it looks like I would have to do that for a few designs, like maybe the pillow, um, the messenger bag looks okay. The tote bag looks okay. The keepsakes bag look like it needs some work, the fleece. And I would probably like add a different color behind some of these products just to make it better. So let's look and see what the shirt looks like, what the shirt is given. So this is how it would look on these different colors. Yeah, so this is one of those web websites that you will definitely have to take a lot of time with. Um, I am going to look to see if they have, so I'm gonna hit done. Um, I am gonna take some time to see if they have like design like a, a section where they talk about like the designs and um but we're gonna go ahead and visit the shop really quick and yes what you see is what you get okay <laughs> so we did I, like i said i changed you know i changed that magnet um it's still showing us the same way so i don't know let's refresh let's see let's give it another go nope it's still showing the same way so did we change it or did we not? I thought after I hit done, it was a done deal. Okay, it didn't that up. Now let's go look. No, it went back to the same thing. Well, the magnet did, the magnet didn't. So let's try this again. Maybe it, it needed time to catch up. So let's visit the shop again, scroll down and let's see if we click on it. Okay, now clicking on it is giving us the right one, all right. But this shop is very dated. I have never shopped on Cafe Press, but it looks very dated to me. Um, let's look up community forum and let's look up information about design. Oh, do I have to write? I have to, oh gosh, I have to sign up for that? Come on, I just want information. <laughs> I just want info. I just wanted some info. So yeah, this, this is some, this is going to be a big learning curve for a lot of you. Okay. So I think I'll take some time and do a few videos on this website, but that is the main, like the main gist of it. You can bulk add products here so you can select the products you want. Um, they do have intimate apparel. Um, they have, like I said, they have license plates. So matter of fact, let's go over that. Let's look at the products. So hoodies, pajamas. I love that they have pajamas. They have baby stuff, cloths, hats, bibs, blankets, mugs, straw tumblers, water bottles, shot glasses, coasters, flags, flasks. They have cases, tablet covers, laptop, laptop skins, mouse pads. Um, home decor, blankets, aprons, magnets, wall arts, t-shirts, pajamas, joggers, leggings, greeting cards, invitations, calendar, notebooks, yard signs, banners, banners, oval stickers, accessories, bags, hat, car accessories, next tag, flip flops, and more. I did see like they had um, balloons. So let's look at that. Um, so they have these balloons which is dope. I've never seen that with a print on demand company. So you can create your own custom balloon. They have dog tags. I did notice they had license plates. So let's look at that. Well, the license plate frame rather. 
So they have license plate frames. So that's unique to have. Um, drinkware, bear mugs, rugs. Let's see what the rugs are given. So they just look like, you know, regular rugs or whatever. Toddler pajamas. So it looks like they all come like with the, the pants and shirt. So this is just me showing you guys some of the things that they have. So you can create toddler pajamas. They have gray stripe, red stripe, and they have pink all together. Super cute. And then they have accessories, face masks, buttons, puzzles, patches. Let's see what their patches look like. So they look like they're just oval, oval patches, woman's maternity, underwear, say little thongs, booty shorts, booty panties. Okay, I think they have men's too. Men's, yeah, men's underwear, like boxers and stuff. And then they have adult pajamas as well. Yes, they have boxers. Um, let's look at the pajamas for the women. Um, it's probably about the same style. So it has the, the pants, lots more colors here, which is dope. Okay, let me tell y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and get my uh, Christmas pajamas, matching pajamas from here next year, all right? So that is a very frustrating setup to Cafe Press. Um, I have to spend more time with this website to, I think, fall in love with it. But again, I wanted to make sure I was giving you guys an option. If you are new to print on demand, I would not recommend this website as where you start off unless you've used this website before and you're just really good technical person and you have lots of time, okay? Because it is gonna be a learning curve, but you can get set up um, and, I, and I do believe because it's a learning curve, you may have an upper hand because people who really love print on demand and understand that it's a learning curve for this, they may not flock to this website. So it may not be um, so many people that you have to compete with on this website just because of the structure of it and how um, time consuming and, and difficult or frustrating it can be to set up products. So I am willing to give it a try and put at least like five of my products on here to take it serious. Um, well, not five products, like five designs. And then I'm probably going to just set it and forget it. Okay. I'm going to bow it out gracefully. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until next time, I love you more than I love this video. Peace.